All right, it's time to get out of bed. What is going on YouTube? Today is gonna be a little bit different of a video. It's gonna be a little bit more role play, and I'm not gonna be doing work today. We're gonna to take it easy. It's just gonna be a day in the life of titanium blood. So it is nice and early in the morning. Look at that view, you guys. Let's get out there, huh? First things first, though, let's put on some clothes. That's better. Nothing fancy, you guys. We're not trying to go on a date or something. We're just putting on some regular clothes. On second thought, I'm gonna need a jacket. It's a little cold in Los Santos. There we go. That looks way better. Now we just gotta figure out something to do. I'm not sure what I wanna do for this episode, but I'll think of something. Maybe we'll find something interesting to watch on the old telly. Nope. Nope. Uh, Princess Robot Bubblegum. I'm not really into cartoons, so... Nope. Hmm. You know what? I might want to go for a drive. Yep, I'm gonna go hop in one of the cars, but first of all, I really need to pee. So here we are in my garage with my Lamborghini. Well, I don't have a Lamborghini in this garage, but I do have this Coquette, which is a nice car. The Tampa is a great car as well. But I also have a Buffalo LG Kruma, Schwarzer Duke, Sultan, Penumbra, and a Dominator. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know which one I want to drive. All right, I've made up my mind. We're going to take out the Coquette. All right, so let's go ahead and try out first-person driving. Let me know what you guys think of this, because I enjoy it, to be honest. Oh, kind of cut that dude off. Sorry, dude. I'm going to try to... Whoa! What the heck is that guy doing? There be some bad drivers in Los Santos. Ah, God, that really puts you in your seat. I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull over for a second here because I want to search the internet. I might buy a new car today. I don't really need anything fast. I just want something that's a little stylish. So I'm thinking a new sports car would be nice. I'm gonna go into the search bar and type in sport. Sports car. Go ahead and enter. Okay, the second one is legendary motorsport. This is a little bit more expensive cars, but I can handle it. So the ones at the top are newer. There's a lot of really good cars in here. It's gonna be hard to decide, to be honest. All right, you know what? Because I need a four door, and also because this one came out just a couple days ago, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Revolter. So one million six hundred and ten thousand dollars. That's not too bad for a four door car. Plus, it does look pretty muscly. So, yeah, let's do it. So now I gotta pick a color. I do like the yellow that is on it, but I think white is gonna look a little better. So let's go with white, I'm gonna buy it. Sold. Thank you for shopping at Legendary Motorsport. We hope you are satisfied with your purchase. We are currently arranging transportation of your vehicle and will contact you to confirm delivery. Awesome. Thank you. Holy shit, she had a hot accent. All right, so what we're doing at the Pacific Standard Bank is pulling cash to pay for the car. I think, how much was it again? Like a million and a half or something. 10 million. 100,000? There's not an option for like one mil? Oh boy, this is gonna take a little while. I'm gonna have to do this like a bunch of times. Finally, we made it to one mil and a half. Look at my transaction log. Look at all these withdrawals of 100,000. Okay, let me go ahead and make sure I got the right amount of money here. 600,000, damn. And a little bit of extra. I'm just gonna pull 700,000. That way you have a little bit to spend when we actually get the car too. Okay, now we've got the dough. Legendary Motorsport is delivering the car as we speak. It should be here in the morning, so let's just go get some sleep and we'll call a taxi in tomorrow. Oh crap, how long have I been asleep? It's like daytime outside. The good news is the car is definitely going to be there, but I need to pee. We've set a car. Should be with you soon. All right, cool. I'm just going to hang out in my backyard until it gets here. Hey, yo. Took you guys long enough. Jeez. Here we are. This is the place. Okay, here we are then. All right, thank you. So I just need to go inside you guys and talk to the dude and purchase my car. All right, it's all paid for. The man said he pulled it out in the back. Sometimes I don't know, man. No, about what? Time was a brother knew who the enemy was. And now, I just don't know. That's crazy, dude. Ooh. Oh, 
Alright, I'm gonna stop messing with the NPCs on the sidewalk. I swear I can make a whole episode on that. Let's focus on the car right now. It should be right around this turn. Oh, oh shit. Now that is an executive car right there. This thing looks aggressive. I know you guys are gonna hate this, but it's gotta happen. Selfie. Alright, so it's not that good at drifting yet. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade it and maybe it'll do a little better. Here for the magic touch. That was extremely disappointed. I could almost just change the color and that's pretty much it. Of course you got the rims and the tints and the windows, but no body modification whatsoever. and it still sucks at drifting. How are you guys? So I took her up to Sand Shores to try out on an old airfield. I'm hoping there's enough runway to maybe reach max speed, but this ain't Fast and Furious. All right, let's check out this car. So the interior looks really cool. The trunk is a tiny little lip looking thing, and it's tiny. You can maybe stick a duffel bag in there. I don't know why it's so small, because if you look at it from the side, it almost looks like that could be a really big trunk, but it's not. The engine, the headlights are cool, but the engine is just one of those bad quality looking things. I feel like for the expense of this car, if nothing could be changed on it, the engine should at least look good. Like this thing is just disappointment after disappointment, not gonna lie. Let's give it a shot. Maybe it's fast or something. Oh yeah, and I did add guns on the front, by the way. This is an extra $100,000 and I don't think it makes it worth it. Alright you guys, so I just took the Revolter over to a friend of mine, he just barely put some drift tires on it, check these out. So these wheels aren't going to magically make the car a good drift car, but it will make it a lot more slippery so I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. Who knows, maybe the music will be a little bit more drifty. Cops. Party's over, you guys. <laughs> Busted. So the cops told me to keep it to a track. They let me off with just a warning, which is amazing because it's not every day good things happen to good people. <laughs> not that I am one, of course. Uh, are you going to drink that? Thanks, bud. Your next one's on me. Uh, what's going on, you guys? Have you ever heard of a revolter? Oh, Jesus. What the hell are you looking at me like that for? <coughs> oh, what is that a picture of? That guy on a toilet. Oh, get out of my way. What is that? It's a dude on a toilet. That was just a motorcycle, but this guy's on a toilet. Why would you guys... Why would you hang that? Can I sit here? Actually, never mind. I'm just gonna go back to the bartender. Miss, Miss Tinder? I'm telling you that there's no such thing as UFO. Thanks for the booze. You're very boo. Mm. 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 
Oh, what am I doing? Am I driving? Mm, oh. I gotta hit that track before the sun comes out. Oh! <laughs> oh let's go find that track. Yeehaw! Ooh! Get some speed and. Ow! Oh, damn it! I think I bit my dog. Okay, let's get back on the track. Slippery as all hell. Oh boy! Ooh, shit! Yeah, I think we're doing good now. Brakes! <coughs> How did I survive that? Alright you guys, so I want to take this moment to bring awareness about drinking and driving. It is a huge hazard to you and the people around you. Not only that, but my two million dollar car is upside down right now, so I do not condone this reckless behavior. Alright you guys, so that is the Revolter. My personal opinion, I would give it like a 2 out of 10 because it's seriously not a car you need. It's got guns on the front, but there's a couple cars like that. You can't change any modifications at all. You can't even change the exhausts. So it's way overpriced. So this one is definitely not worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm changing up the channel just a little bit, so I'm going to be posting more often. So I'll see you guys in a couple days. Good night. Drive sideways. Thank you.